Benny Loves Fiddleberries. This is a character building story about sharing. And one thing we learn about sharing is it's allowing others to enjoy your blessings. If there's one thing bears like to do, it's eat berries. And Benny Bear is no exception. He likes berries and jellies and jam. He likes them in freshly baked pies. And he especially likes them in big bowls with lots of rich, fresh cream. But of all the ways Benny likes berries, his favorite is right off the old berry bush. And that's exactly the way he was eating them on the day of our story. Benny was over by Cedar Creek in Agape Land enjoying handfuls of fiddleberries. One of the really great things about fiddleberries is that no matter how many you eat, you never get a tummy ache. And that was a good thing for Benny, or he might have been one miserable bear. On this beautiful, warm summer day, Benny had discovered a brand new fiddleberry patch. I can't believe what I'm seeing, he shouted with joy. Brand new berry bushes. He quickly gobbled up all the berries from one whole fiddleberry bush. Fiddleberries are de delicious. He moved to another bush and noticed some extra big juicy berries hanging from the top limb, which was dangling out over Cedar Creek. Then he tried reaching for the big berries. I can almost... Get them, he said, stretching as far as he could. Just a little bit more, he stretched farther, way up on his tiptoes. There, I think I finally got there. Oh, oh, just as he grabbed for the berries, Benny slipped. Whoa, he toppled into the cool water below with a great big splash. Benny laughed and laughed. Benny had never been to this part of the creek before, so he thought he'd stay in the water and play for a while. It was then he noticed something strange. On the side of the creek, where some water splashed from his fall, little plants were beginning to grow. Hey, these little plants sure pop up quickly. But that wasn't the biggest surprise for Benny. They're fiddleberry bushes, he shouted with joy. Benny splashed more water on the little bushes. They grew and grew. The more water he splashed, the more they grew. Wow, they sure get big fast. Soon fiddleberries began to appear, the biggest, juiciest berries Benny had ever seen. Of course, to Benny, this was just too good to be true. He splashed more water onto the bank, and sure enough, within minutes, more bushes popped up, each bearing hundreds of the delicious berries. Well, it wasn't long before Benny got an idea. I'll build a dam across the creek so I'll have more water to make even more bushes to make even more berries. <laughs> more than I could even imagine. As Benny looked around to find something to make the dam, he noticed a family of bears downstream enjoying some of the fiddleberries. Aren't these wonderful berries? Benny shouted. Yes, said the littlest bear. I eat these every day. Uh-oh, Benny thought to himself. If I build a dam across the creek, the bushes downstream won't get any water. They'll, they'll wither and stop making berries. And then the other bears won't have any berries to eat. Benny knew it was important to share. He even remembered a song about it.
Yes, thought Benny. Sharing is important. But when Benny splashed some more water on the bank and watched new bushes shoot up, he got so excited he forgot all about sharing with the bears downstream and went ahead and built his dam. Sure enough, no sooner had Benny finished the dam than new berry bushes started growing up everywhere around him. Phew, said Benny. Building a dam sure is a lot of hard work. I'm really tired. I think I'll just take a little nap. So he lay down in the shade of a growing fiddleberry bush and fell fast asleep. Hey, what's going on? said the father bear downstream. We're running out of fiddleberries. We've always had plenty before, said mother bear. Not only are the berries disappearing, added sister bear, but the bushes are beginning to wither and dry up. The baby bears began crying. This made the older bears sad, and they all decided to find out what was happening to the berry bushes. Well, it wasn't long before they noticed Cedar Creek didn't have any water running in it. The rocky bottom was hardly even moist. Let's go upstream and find out what's happening to the water, said Father Bear. Meanwhile, Benny was sleeping soundly among the berry bushes, and they were growing thicker and thicker. And more and more new ones were growing by the moment. At the same time, the water level was very quickly getting higher and higher. Suddenly, Benny woke up and looked around. The berry bushes had grown so thick, Benny couldn't see anything but branches and leaves and berries. As the water rose, the berry bushes began squeezing in on Benny. Closer and closer they grew. He could hardly move. Help, Benny yelled. Help me, I'm stuck. Just then, the other bears running up the creek bed heard Benny. Help me, Benny cried out. Someone break the dam across the creek. The other bears all got together and pulled and tugged and pushed as hard as they could on Benny's dam. There she goes, said Father Bear as the dam broke. The bears jumped back as the rush of water crashed downstream. They watched the withering berry bushes on the banks come back to life and begin growing berries once again. And within a few minutes, the huge berry bushes around Benny shrank back to normal. Benny was glad to be free from the berry bushes, but he felt awful for building the dam. He had known the other bears wouldn't have any fiddleberries, but it seemed like such a fun thing to do that he forgot about sharing with them. Well, never again. I've learned my lesson, said Benny. I'll always try to think of others first and to share. Thank you for helping me, said Benny gratefully. Would you like to come to our house and have dinner with us, asked one of the older bears. We're having fiddleberries. How about all of you coming to my house and we'll have honey, said Benny. I'd like to take a little break from berries, and they all laughed and laughed and laughed.